myself an explorer, I've always called myself an adventurer. There's 500 people on planet Earth who have ever rowed across an ocean. 350 of them are British. For whatever reason, we're good at this adventure stuff. And I'm pretty sure there's some future adventures in the room. For a small island, Great Britain, we are good at these big adventures, exploring the world, finding new places, and really pushing ourselves. Fantastic, as a professional cyclist, to turn up and see so many bikes lined up by the side. That's a top effort from those who manage to scoop their way or cycle their way to school. But I'm not actually a, a, a competitive cyclist. I don't enter the Olympics or the Commonwealth Games. I'm an adventure cyclist. I'm a professional adventurer and I'm a broadcaster. That means over the last 10 years since I left education, I've gone on lots of adventures around the world. I've been to 130 countries in the last 10 years. And I get to make lots of television programs, mainly for the BBC. So this is when I was 15, so I think I'm about third year, fourth year at high school. And this is when I actually got to do that big journey to the top spot of England, the land then to John Rose. Um, so that was exciting, that was my first thousand mile journey. And I left university and I decided to try and smash the world record for cycling all the way around the world. Now these are big numbers, 18,000 miles. 18,000 miles. So do you remember I said top of Scotland and the bottom of England about 1,000 miles? About. I'm going to do that 18 times. I start in Paris and France, go all the way through Europe and then through, go through countries like Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, India, through Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore. And where are we cycling across here? America? America. So from California across to Florida. And then these countries here, the final thousand miles. Anyone know where we are here? Spain. Spain. What's the one to the left of Spain? Portugal. So Portugal, Spain, and back to France. That is an 18,000 mile race. Now do we all agree on that scale of the map? It doesn't look too tough at all. We're all up for this. Can you imagine going around the world, spending half a year with this big dream, and then you finish with a big police escort, your you know, massive press coverage, all your friends and family have come to be there to finish. It was very exciting. Really, really exciting. It was everything I dreamt of. It's absolutely fantastic to see the Tour Series coming back to Motherwell. The roads around here and uh, I'm certainly hoping it'll be a day just like today. Such massive interest in cycling and the 17th of May is shaping up to be such an exciting event. Uh, we've got the amateurs out in the afternoon, some of the local school kids are going to get a chance to ride the route and then see the pros going head to head in the evening. So I'd encourage everyone to come out and, uh, and be a part of it. It's going to be a wonderful day of celebration of bike racing.